すみません。写真を撮ってもいいですか、okay. はい。ありがとう。おお。おお、大丈夫です。大丈夫。おお。おお。ルッキングン。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。But there is something to know. There is a big secret. Most people will say yes. And second of all, most people don't really care. And they're really happy to actually get that attention in a nice way. If you're coming with a good intention, I'm telling you, most of the time, you're gonna get a yes. So, today, I want to share with you four techniques. In order to get over your shyness as a photographer, so if you're ready, let's get started. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the streets of Tokyo. We're in this little area called Nagano, not Nagano, and I'm telling you, this is extremely cute for photos. But also, there's lots of possibilities to take photos with people, and I know when you're shy, it's so hard. 90% of the people who have worked with me. In order to improve their photography, tell me that they are shy and they don't know how to approach people and they're afraid of it, even if it's to organize portrait sessions. So, today I want to share with you a few tips. Hopefully, they will help you. And if you need to go further, remember there's always this possibility of joining the 30 Day Adventure to Great Photos, a step by step program to take your photography to the next level that I've developed over the years. So, the first technique is going ninja mode. There we go, just like that. Okay, jokes aside, what is ninja mode? It's simply instead of having to be in people's faces, shooting at 16 millimeter or like 30 millimeter and having to be really close to people, the best thing you can do is actually change your lens and go a little longer 50 millimeter, 85 millimeter, 100, 200, and actually take photos of people from further. And remember, you're here to create an image. And not be a paparazzi, okay? You're not here to go and do some photos for People Magazine. You're here to create something beautiful. So if you go with that intention, you won't fall into the paparazzi category of being from super far taking photos, but you'll fall into the category of the artist who's a little shy and who's trying to take photos and still make his vision come to life. So being further is great because it removes you from the other interactions. If you're 16 millimeter and you're going with people, I can tell it's gonna get a little weirder. So when you're going ninja, you can shoot. From here, and you can take photos of people there, or people walking here, or people eating, or steam coming, and someone cooking. There's so many possibilities that you can take advantage of without ever being seen. And not being seen for most people will feel a lot better. But if you are up for the challenge, I got some other tips that are gonna be even better. The second tip is actually to never take photos of faces or Have to interact directly with that person. Why is that? You'll see it allows you to do something where you just can follow people and it's fairly discreet. People don't really care because you're just walking like everyone. And what you can do is simply hold your camera here if you don't want to be walking like that, or you can be holding it on the shoulder and just walk on the side. The goal again is not to be creepy, but simply to take photos of people from behind so you don't have to see their face. So, you completely get rid of that privacy issue, also. On top of that, back of face, one thing, okay? But also details, hands, movements, where they're holding in their hand. If they're smoking, just the hand of that person smoking, pointing out of, of, of the body looks really good. The other day, I was taking a photo just like that, and there was a person smoking in the corner. I didn't really want that person's face, it didn't really add to my story. So, what did I do? I masked it out and then took just that person in the corner. Absolutely great technique if you're a little afraid but you still want to include、uh, human subjects in your photos. And remember, those people will never care. And if they ever somehow realize that you have that photo, maybe just show them. You're like, oh my god, look, I took this photo of you and it looks really cool. It's like this ambience where you're walking in that street. It looks really great. And show him how you're passionate about the art you're creating. Once you do that, people will be like, wow, this guy is really passionate. He's not trying to be creepy. He's a creator, he's an artist. But if that's even too much for you, I got another one for you. Let's go. Now, the next tip is kind of the contrary of that. It's actually to go out and have friends. Right now, I'm absolutely alone and I have no one, and it's gonna be really hard to take photos. It's actually g o i n g to be a lot better if you stay with friends or a little group that you can find around, and they will g o i n g to help you feel better about taking photos of strangers. Or you can even organize your own shoots, you can shoot together. And let's say you're shooting a friend, like, look, 
got Jeremy right here helping me film. What's going to happen is that if we take photos together, it's going to feel good, right? And maybe I'm shy taking photos of strangers, but because you're a friend, we can pretend you're a stranger. Or we want to do a portrait session, but I'm not used to directing anyone. Then I'm going to be with a friend who understands that, you know, and who will have that patience to actually wait while I'm trying to fumble around my settings and like understanding how to guide and pose and etc. But really, finding that little group to go out there and shoot is great. And my 30-day program to great photos, there is small communities of people that got together in their different cities to actually shoot. And through that community, they were able to go for street sessions and take photos just like that. And it made them feel a lot better. Because again, one of the biggest feedback I hear from people is that they want to take those portraits, they want to take those photos, but they're too afraid to do it. And when you're in a group, the group motivation will help you get there. So either you're part of the 30 Day Adventure to Great Photos and you can tap into that community or try to find also your local community to Facebook groups and stuff. And I can tell you, being with friends is going to make it a lot more fun than if it's just me. It's fun, but with other people, experiences shared are always stronger. Now the most important thing to remember is that whenever you're interacting with people, you want them to have a better day after than before they met you. What does it mean? Everything in photography is about exchanging. We're creating something with other people, right? We're not capturing from people. We're actually creating together an image. And if you're able to show your image and your vision to other people, I'm telling you, it's gonna make them happy and most of the time, it's gonna show them a vision that they had never about themselves. I literally had someone cry recently seeing the photos that I took of her because she had never seen herself like that in years. And that was beautiful. And then when you send the photos to people, you know, they can keep it for themselves forever and cherish that moment. That's so important. Hi. <laughs> Oh, uh, just a moment. Oh, okay. Uh, eto, uh, eh, okay. 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 Uh, uh, eh? Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Arigato gozaimasu. You know, it's can you smile? Can you make people happy? Can you have fun while you're doing it? And if you're able to, I think you're going to have a good time. Other people are going to have a good time and everyone's going to be okay to be in your photos. Please, if you're watching this and you've asked strangers, let us know in the comments how many people told you no and how many told you yes because I want to know. A lot of people think it's going to be 50-50, but a lot of the feedback I had was like, it was way more positive than negative. So with that being said, guys, get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new, be nice with people, just spread out some good energies. And I'm telling you, that will help get the photos that you've always been dreaming of.